If you want to get instant dreadlocks or if you just want to maintain the dreadlocks that you have, make sure to pick up the Great Locks Crochet Hook on GreatLocks.com. I'm currently using the crochet hook right now and over hundreds of thousands of people are actually using this tool to get instant dreadlocks. So make sure to go to GreatLocks.com and pick yourself up one right now. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Up to the Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great. Today we're looking at the iconic Jaden Smith's dreadlocks and it's really cool to see him have dreadlocks just because his hair or his dreadlocks when he had his first set of dreadlocks was the first ever dreadlock review I've ever done on Great Locks. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if it was on Great Locks or if it was on my main channel, Gunther the Great. But needless to say, it was my first video I ever created talking about someone else's dreadlocks. So it's gonna be really interesting to see that now he's onto a second set of dreadlocks and we're gonna be able to see how he got these ones. Believe it or not, he's actually doing these pretty similar to how he started his first set of locks. So before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into it. So right off the bat, he's going with a freeform style of the locking process. With that being said, he is doing some sort of maintenance because his hair doesn't naturally, well, let's put it this way. His hair can naturally form, but it won't form the way that we're seeing it form this way. So how we see his hair now and how we seen his hair when he originally had his dreadlocks, it's most likely started the same way. And with his first set of locks and even these ones now, he most likely started with some sort of either sponge rub or towel rub. And this is a very popular way in order to get dreadlocks. It's very easy to do, the hair locks up quickly, and it gives you a really natural kind of freeform like look with the dreadlocks, which is really nice to be able to do a maintenance method and have your hair turn out different than other people's. Just like we see with Jaden Smith, just like we've seen with even my first set of dreadlocks, because I started out with towel rub and then from there I just went with other methods. But starting out with the sponge or towel rub method, your hair turns out very unique and very different than other people's. So if you do wanna go with the freeform style of dreadlocks, but you don't wanna go through the freeform route and say you kinda of just wanna maintain your hair a little bit, then I would recommend doing the sponge or towel rub method. It's very easy to do. You either go in a clockwise or a counterclockwise motion and it really does depend on which way your hair curls. So if your hair curls in the clockwise direction, you wanna go in the clockwise direction. But if, it cl but if your hair curls in a counterclockwise direction, that's the way you wanna go but you wanna go that same direction throughout the entire head. Now looking at this next photo, I'm really excited to see what his hair is gonna be doing in the near future, just because his hair looks the same as how it did when he first started out his first set of dreadlocks. And I can honestly say that Jaden Smith's dreadlocks were my favorite dreadlocks overall out of every celebrity that I've seen and out of every video that I've done a review on, he still has my favorite set of dreadlocks. And one thing I really like about them is that they look very natural. They don't look like he's putting too much work in it. And that I really feel like that's what you want to go for when it comes to dreadlocks. You want it to look natural. You want it to look very fitting to yourself. And I think that's the thing that we see with Jaden Smith's dreadlocks is they fit him very well. And I think a lot of people might not be pleased with their dreadlocks just because they're putting so much effort and time into them. But sometimes you just got to let it go and let it do its own thing. And then you're gonna be surprised at how much you would actually like it. But like I said, with Jaden Smith, we see that it's kind of messy, it's very freeform like, and it's not too uniform. But over time, we see that it becomes more and more uniform. And that's just what happens when you go with a semi freeform or even just a freeform style of dreadlocks. And as time progresses, we begin to see his dreadlocks form more and more. And that's just really to be expected when you go with this method of getting dreadlocks, especially with doing the sponge rub, because it allows your hair to get into a position that your hair naturally wants to go in. Now, of course, you're maintaining it using the sponge or the towel, but you're forcing your hair into a position that it's already in motion of going. That's what I'm saying when you do the sponge or the towel rub and you're going in the direction of your curls, say your curls go counterclockwise and you're doing the sponge rub counterclockwise on your head, you're forcing your hair to go into the position that's already naturally supposed to go in. So with that being said, you're speeding up the freeform process, if you could put it that way, although it's not 100% freeform, but you're speeding up the process of your hair naturally locking up. And as we see with Jaden Smith's hair, it just looks overall really good. And that's why I really enjoy the freeform look or even just freeform dreadlocks. In this photo right here, you're able to see how much his hair is starting to resemble how it looked in the very beginning of when he got his first set of dreadlocks. And man, you already know these are gonna look really good. I like how his tips are starting to get sun bleached and that just happens over time. And overall, just everything that goes on with Jaden Smith's hair just looks really good. So let's go ahead and break down Jaden Smith's dreadlocks. With this hair type, he has about a 4A, which is very prime for actually getting dreadlocks. And to be honest, he could even have a 3C hair type. 
and then going into the method could be doing sponge or towel rub and then obviously after they initially lock up then he just allows it to go and then probably just you know twist it with his fingers and then probably from here on out it's going to be kind of that semi freeform style of getting dreadlocks you know just with doing a little bit of maintenance here and there but not a whole lot and guys in this last photo we're able to see the length not only the length but we were able to see a little bit of the maturity of his dreadlocks and at the same time we're able to see how much his dreadlocks still have to go and one thing I really appreciate about Jaden Smith's dreadlocks is that he leaves the tips very loose, which allows them to curl up and show his actual hair type. And not many people do this. A lot of people really want the blunt tips, but in my personal opinion, I think that leaving the loose ends leaves a very good look on the dreadlocks. It leaves it very natural. And I feel like it ties everything together, especially with the look that Jaden Smith's going for. You guys, that's today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below who you'd like to see next. But on that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.